Hi everybody, so uh, it's your boy here, Mutwana. Uh, if you face time, you know, uh, just go and subscribe to our beautiful channel. And if you're returning here, welcome back, beautiful family. Now, so we have a question right here. Uh, you buy a computer, right? You buy a computer uh, direct from the manufacturer for this price here, okay? And agree to the pay in e coin installment, okay? E coin installment means you're gonna be paying little by little, little because maybe they say, oh, so you're gonna have to pay every month or after every six months or after. That's how they say eco payment installment eco song for three years but at the end of each month you have to do maybe this amount this amount this amount in the selling test starting one month from now the interest rate is what is 10 oh we have interest rate now they say it was compounded what monthly so let me give you a trick here i mean this is very important so before we get started face look some of you might be new please hear me if you're new here you never be here please come here show me some love and subscribe here okay subscribe here and then we'll be fine so now let's go so something that i want you to know very very crucial whenever they mention see here they say you're gonna be making agree to pay equal installment whenever the question of financial when they say equal installments or equal drawing maybe you take out money or eco deposit quickly because you know math is a trick pick like oh so this a there has to be the present value formula you're gonna use oh i'm gonna use future value formula those are indicators but they say eco installment eco deposit or eco withdrawing the money you gotta come in your mind quick it has to go oh it's gonna be present value future value now i'm gonna define present value because you have the money you want to go and buy something you have the money you want to go and buy something even if you don't have, but they say, oh, you can buy and then you can pay in equal. So it means you have something with you. So for that case, I'm going to apply what? Uh, present value form. So the present value form, I say, uh, because I have something. So present value equal, okay, equal to X. X represent uh, that equal payment money. And then we say uh, one minus, one minus, and they say one plus I. And then times N. And then you over interest rate. But listen to this. This is very, very important. Whenever, see here, whenever this interest rate, you might always divide it by how it was compounded. Look, it was compounded what? Monthly. So now go back and pitch. What is month? How many months in one year? Everything they say you must ask in one year. They say, so there are 12 months. So where is the interest rate here? We're going to divide by 12. Also here, we're going to divide by. Well, remember that if the seat was compounded daily, how many days in one year? 365. So instead of 12, I was going to divide it by 365 and here 365. But it's not like that in this case. And another thing, don't forget here, there's a minus 4. Present value, they say, there's a minus here. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we can just finish up. So why need I need face? Let me find this equal payment because the present value I got, I have my present value, I have a Everything except I don't have that. How much I'm going to pay them? Out. That's going to be the first step before I continue to my question. So now I'm going to say, let me make eight subjects. So, it's easy. so what I'm going to do, I'll simply take that over one and then I'll multiply this two. So this two is going to be PV times, let me put dot times and dot the same thing. Dot what dot? I over 12 and then equal. So I can just multiply this equal to x. This is one minus one plus i minus the So we want to get the value of x, but I'm going to get x. To make x means I can just make what this subject the value of x simple. So I'm going to say make x subjects. So I'll divide throughout by like if somebody look if somebody give let's say k equal to two x. I'm going to make the value of x divide with anything I don't need divide by two divide by two. See, so that this in this case, I'm left with the x. So same here. If I want to get the value of x, means I have to divide by this throughout, divide by this throughout. So I'm going to divide by 1 minus 1 plus i, negative n. But remember, like I said, you, whenever there's interest rate, you're going to have to divide, but I'll show you now. Divide by whenever there's interest rate. So we don't have to write, but I'll show you how. 
and then you have to divide and divide i by 12 12 for now because monthly and also don't forget whenever there's a time here you must multiply by how it was compounded two so i'll show you now i don't want to buy okay so i'll show you how those when i say divided two come multiply two how just follow so here we're going to say bracket bracket what happened isn't this cancer but the same thing i must write here also okay so i'm going to see okay so divide here say what one minus bracket one one plus i power negative a. so this is the answer so i'm left with only with x so finally x is like is a monthly payment equal to pv means present value times interest rate what is our present value our present value equal to seven equal to uh present value equal to seven three And then I'm going to multiply 7332 and now multiply also by interest rate. What is interest rate? 10.7 percent over how it is compounded monthly because you must divide. I say whenever there's interest rate, you must divide how it is compounded. But for now, it's monthly, so we say divided by 2 over which is this right up bracket. See, we'll write up bracket and then we'll finish up. So we're going to say 1 is 1 minus one plus interest rate. What is the interest rate? Our interest rate ten point seven. Over ten point seven percent over how it was compounded to compound amount. So just like I say and then we multiply by negative n. So negative n. What is n? N is time how long? Three years. So I'm gonna say three. But I also do not forget to multiply by how it was compounded so how it was compounded it must be put under interest rate and also you must multiply on the number of years so i'm going to multiply by 12 here don't forget your line here and then close so what we're going to do now we can simply plug in a calculator and get the value of x and let me write here this clear this is 7332 let me write very very clear so you can do this in this one here seven three three two multiply by that so what we can do i can just plug in very slowly in a calculator when you plug very slow okay let me just show you how i can plug that so you can understand so i'm gonna say i don't need this i can have a space here right let me just erase this so i have a space so we can just plug that to get the value of x right what is x represent x represent what monthly payment okay because we need to have some space here and you will know how else I can do that. Okay, so we will say then x x equal. So I can just come in a calculator, plug in a calculator quick. Show you how it's okay. Okay, so I say fraction, fraction. Start at the top, so it's gonna be 733, 7332, 7332. Multiply, multiply. Come in fraction, fraction. Go to the top. The top is gonna be 10.7, so 10. 10.7.7.7. Come here, fraction is a key fraction. Uh, shifty percent, and they go to the denominator. We divide by 12, divide by 12, and they come in the close our bracket. So we're done with the numerator, we go to the denominator. So we say bracket just like the way how it is. Okay, we say one, one minus minus. Okay, another bracket, another bracket. We say one, one plus plus. Fraction, fraction, and they say 10.7, 10.7. Shift, shift, percent, percent. Now we come here under, and they say divide by 12. Divide by 12. And they come here close, close, close. And they go to the power, and then negative 3 times 12, you could negative 36. Or you can plug if you want like that, no problem, however you want, 3 times 12. But I know it's negative 36, so okay. I won't waste my time to plug it all. Okay. So then after that, you can just come simply and close. So this is gonna give you two, three, eight point nine nine nine. Means like if you approximate that, it's gonna be two point three nine if approximate. Two point three nine zero zero if approximate. But that's not the final answer. That's gonna be the monthly payment. Okay. So we can say here. The value of x is going to be what? 
point two three nine point nine nine nine. But when you approximate this equal to two three nine point zero. No 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 excuse me, sorry. We got two point two three eight point nine nine nine. But when you approximate this, this is going to give us all 2, 3, 9.00. But this is not what they ask us. They ask us how much will interest be. Interest. Okay, what is interest? Listen. If you start your business, let's say I want to sell uh, anything. It could be a calculator. Okay, I want to buy this calculator. Let's say I bought this calculator for 120. And after one year, uh, a I decided to sell it and then I sold it for 150. So what is interest? Interest is the amount that you have made minus the one that you start a business with. Oh, so we're gonna say 150 minus 120, so our interest equal to 30. See? So now for this case here, now we're gonna play the same game here. Look, remember this gonna be X representing the monthly repayment. Means every month you're gonna be paying this amount of money. So now let's find out how much in three years. So how much in three years means take this amount 239 multiply by 36. You know why multiply by 36? Because it took three years in. So if these are paid for monthly, so for three years gonna be two multiplied by 36. And this is gonna give us so come here and multiply by 36. Oh my god, sorry. Multiply by 36. Okay. 8603. So that's going to be amount you're going to pay in total. But it's not interest yet. It's like it's like a 150 that I'm going to sell this calculator. Is that after three years? So I'm going to say, uh, okay. So my amount here is going to be uh, 36. 3604. Zero, zero. Now, so this is going to be amount after three years I'm going to pay for it. So what is interest rate? Interest rate means take this minus the amount. Excuse me. So this is going to give us all 36, right? It's going to be total amount after three, three years. 36? Come on. How did I get 36 from? 86. Come on. 86. My apology, I'm sorry, it's 86. 8604. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract because I want to get the interest. Me, so I'll take this amount of the three years in total because this, this was from one month, this for 36 months, which is three years, so the total can be this. And then we minus the amount, the actual amount of the computer so we can know the interest so you tag 86 so i can just simply erase this because i don't I need a space here and now we finish now we get the interest because the question they ask about the interest but if they ask how much in total you're gonna pay this was the amount in total and what is was amount uh monthly payment this was a monthly payment every month okay now for now they ask for the interest i'll say interest is always equal to amount minus principal means the amount you have met what is the amount our amount, we know, 3604 minus the amount that a uh, purchase computer from the shop. So when you subtract these two, it's going to give you 1272, which is the option number one. That's the interest rate. So if you face time here, look, um, it's very important that you come right here. In scrap, this is by the way, right? Uh, uh, beauty of Kazuna Tab. I get a lot of questions from Kazuna Tab. Again, we're trying to help us, please help us, please. You're doing a great job, so thanks a lot. If you face time here, leave a comment, tell me what your name and where you're from, and then I'll send shout out to you. See, then I'm gonna send shout out to you. Thanks a lot. Of, subscribe to the program and share this video to a lot of people so also other can learn. Don't keep it to yourself.